So for the purpose of the recording, you um, cut a piece of chicken wire that's on the other ones that I'm going to show you, they were 17 inches uh, long by about six or seven inches high. Just whatever your preference is. Okay, so Okay, so you have that. Now, at each end you have these spiky points. So I want to show you what I did with that. So let's do that. Um, I think I'll do this end. Okay, so let me see if I can get this in the picture. What I did was I just flipped this, and you can just, can you see me? I'm just flipping this in to the inside and flipping it around so it's pointing up. Oh, I cut this one differently. Let me see. Okay, I cut it differently, so let me see. My boo boo. Let me see. All right, let's see. How could I do this properly? All right, I cut it wrong. See, I'm so nervous. You guys have to forgive me. So perfect. So you'll be able to see. Cut this where you cut these this part off. No. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. See, I'm so nervous. So you're just going to cut it like that. So you have these long strands, not like this. But you want one end to have these points, and you want the other end to look like this. And I'll show you why. I mean, you don't have to, but this is what I did. Okay, so here's what I do, is you flip it inside out, whatever, just flip it, let me see if you're, um, and then you're going to just twist those around here. And I'm going to do a few of them just so you can see because I have a piece that I'll show you. Okay, now this is just what I choose to do. Are you guys still with me? I can't read my chats. you don't want any of these sharp ends. You want them to all be soft. Again, are you seeing how I'm doing that? You flip it and then you just twist these. I can't read my chat, so hopefully you're seeing me. I hope I'm not too bright. Okay. Are you guys getting the idea?
Okay, see, to, what I'm doing is I want this flat edge here. Okay, so see how it's doing that? So again, I'm going to cut You guys still with me? I can see sweet gypsy soul said yes. All right, well, I'm not going to bore you with doing this, okay? But see how you can see how it finishes that off? Let me show you. Okay, so here's one that has the finished edge all around. Oops. And so it'll lay flat. And then what I did was I took the um, beautiful, gorgeous, uh, what do you call this? Applique. Um, this is all I have left because I'm going to show you what I use with it. And so that is GA74, if I'm not mistaken. So can you, um, I can see the chat now. I just don't know if it's up, if it's staying up to date. Okay, so I think it's GA74, that's the long one, and I just cut a piece of it, and, and I'm going to show you what I, I did. And I have this stuff on here because I'm going to use Stiffy, it's a fabric stiffener, and it's going to stiffen this to this uh, chicken wire. And then I used... I think this is the, no, this is the GA18, and I think this is the GA543. Deb, you're going to have to help me and let me know if that's correct. And so I'm going to put this all around the outside edges. And I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. You take your stiffy and you just shake it up. Thank you, Deb. Yes, that's the applique. And you just take, you know, a little disposable sponge here. Yes, you do need to wear this on your birthday. And you can either just pour it, I mean, let me see. And I'm telling you, it's super easy. You just... I mean, in fact, you don't even have to use this um, app, this uh, sponge. You can just pour it on here. But I don't want it to pour all the way through. Okay, and then you um, then you can speed up the drying process. It takes about forty-five minutes. But you can speed up the drying process with the, um, your craft heat tool. Okay. So I'm going to show you one. That is already dried. And um, what I did was I spray painted this 
with pink paint, spray paint, and I sprayed the chicken wire after I flattened the edge and put the stiffy all over the, the lace. And again, this is the applique, one end of it. Oops. And what I did was I took a needle and thread after it was dry, and I did put two layers of the stiffy. You did, I really didn't have to, but I wanted to just make sure it was nice and stiff. And then I took a needle and thread and just um, put some beads every so often. I think they're showing up there. Some beige ones, white ones. And then what I'm going to do is add a shabby flower to it. This is not completed. I'm going to show you how to make that. Okay. So what I did was I just took a piece of I cut off a uh, cut about an inch circle out of some stiff. I have some 110 uh, cardstock, and then with my heat, uh, my glue gun, I took a piece of lace. Thank you. And so then you just take your hot glue you know always when you're on video or live this stuff is going to happen there we go so you just take a little piece of um, you know leftover scrap lace and I just Gather it around the paper. I'm telling you, chicken wire is so inexpensive. I know, Deb, you just did um, a lampshade. Love it, because I love metal. I love... Um, like burlap and I like that shabby mixed with metal I don't know how, what what that is but and lace I just love metal with lace and of course I love pink so that's why I painted spray painted the the crown but you don't have to because this other crown is going to be absolutely gorgeous just in the raw form after I finish that one up, I will um, show you, post a picture of that. But here's what I do is I try to meet the two ends together. So let me see, probably. So when I put this, I'm going to just add just a tad of glue so they can meet up together. And you'll never even be able to find the, the beginning and the end. Well then, if you don't want to use the needle and thread, you can uh, just Use your um, fabric glue, some, uh, you know, all these fabric glues. Let me see. Fast tack glue. But I wanted to make sure it didn't come off. So, okay, so that's what you do. You start with that. And then I just received, uh, I'm going to show um, my design team package, my goodies, and some other things that I ordered, and this is the, the ostrich, I don't know, is it ostrich? 
<laughs> this uh, the feathers and I love it so we're going to add that too but I'm actually going to put it on this one that I made for the, the pink one so I'm just going to kind of add that to the back Okay, so you have that. Okay, so then what I took was I have some of these in my stash and they're just, oh, they're like flower, stamens or whatever they're called. So I'm just going to throw some of these in there. That's what I did here with this one. I must be nervous. I'm shaking. Okay, and then I also got this um, doily or applique. Isn't it gorgeous? I think there's four in a pack. I want to put that in the center. And what I did with this one was I added some pink uh, tulle. I just cut some little pieces of um, pink tulle. Can you see it right there? And then this is lace that Deb has in her shop. And I just cut one of the flowers from it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm still shaking, though, but... So I cut one of those, and that's what I put here in the center. And that is, I'm not sure which one that is. That might be the Pearl White GA74. I think that's what that one is. And then I took this, and I just took the little um, rosettes off. And then that's what's in the center here. Okay, so you've got all that. I don't know if you can see there's a little pink in there. And then what I'm going to use for the flower center is this. And I'm not sure what that is, but you just have to cut off. It's just a button. I have to cut off the back. And then I'm going to glue that in the very center. And then these pink flowers that I actually I just had in my stash, they actually came off a of boa. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this on here. But I want to show you what else I did to the crown. And see, that's the back. You're, you're really not going to see it. See how you cannot... I mean, I can see a little bit of the glue right here. I love bling. Oops, going to have to attach that. But let me show you. Let me just attach this real quick. I 
I leave these spikes, you know, this, the tips here all around. Oh, I forgot to show you how to shape it. Okay. Going back to this piece, how I determine the shape. Where I join the two together, I make that the back. Or you can make it the front because you're going to cover it with your lace. Whatever you feel comfortable with. And I think I did it both ways. On this one, I made it the back. And you can barely tell. And on that one, I did it the front. So whatever you determine is going to be your front. So let's make It's going to have to be this. Anyway, you, I wanted to have some tall in the front and then have it shorter in the back. See how that is? So now when you cut it, you just cut right at this point. And if you cut close enough, it isn't sharp. It's smooth as can be. And so you did, so then I go down and I move over one. So here's this, move over to the next one, cut that. And then one more, because I like, okay, so you saw how I'm staggering. So you wanna make sure you stagger that. I mean, if that's the what you're looking for. And then, what I do is I cut and I leave these pointed ends. So as I, here I staggered, and then I leave these pointy ends, and the reason is so I can add pearls and just, okay? And the reason is because, see how I added I added a pearl and a crystal, a pearl and a crystal, and then I didn't want to see the hole on the top of it. So I just put a small little bead and topped it off. You don't have to do that, but I thought it looked pretty, and I just I don't know, because you can even dangle something from there, too. And then this I haven't finished finished off yet. But these two I did, because I'm going to put... And I used um, glossy accents. Or you can use E6000 glue to glue your... Um, your bling on. Thank you, Deb. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so let's finish the other flower. So did you, Deb, did you give them what this, the part number or the um, item number to this? Because I used that on the uh, flower. Because I like the mix of beige with white. So it's not all white. I might have too much light in here. But I love the ostrich feather. And also, um, I know that if you saw Rhonda's product, um, her project, she had used these. And so you could even use these in there. I mean, easily you can add that and then put your flower. Okay, so to, so this would dry, um, 
that's why I used all these clips, you know, these little mini clips. Thank you, Rebecca. So, oops. Also, what I just got, I ordered and received, is this product, this item. And I love it, and I just think how cute, of course, I'm all about pink, but I just think how cute to, to just wrap this around here and maybe glue it with hot glue or fabric glue every so often okay good not too much light good night Pam thanks for watching I hope you guys will make one. It really is so simple, so easy, so fun. And I love crowns. I'm all about angels' wings, crowns. And I have to show you, even this beautiful trim would look gorgeous on the edge of this. I just don't know if I want to, <laughs> I want to hoard it. But look how beautiful that is. That pearl trim is so beautiful. See how pretty that is? And I don't have another center right here. But Deb has all those centers that, all those beautiful jewels that you could use for a center, a flower center. But this trim is so gorgeous. You want to hoard it, right? Right, Marianne? <laughs> we want to hoard this trim. But again, I showed you the stiffy. It's so simple, so easy. And then you just use your heat gun. You guys have any questions? I know... I know, wouldn't it be that trim is going to be perfect? So I will show a picture because I can have this done tonight. I mean, this stuff dries, that stiffy dries in 15 minutes if I use my, um, my heat tool. But you just have to be careful when you use your heat tool that it'll actually um, melt this little netting in between that's holding the applique together. <laughs> yeah, see? You're going to hoard it. I want to hoard it. But it would look so beautiful on here. You guys have any questions? It's pretty easy, pretty simple. And like I said, if you don't want to put the, um, the beads on here, if you didn't like that part, see, I, I, I sewed on some pretty little beads just every so often. I love it. But I think I, oh, here it is. So when you put the bead, here's the piece I was going to add to this. You don't want any of this metal sticking out. <clears throat> so I just trim it down. I just look to see how this. I'll just use a little bit of hot glue to finish it off. Ooh, 
peacock feathers. That would be beautiful. Yes, doesn't it? I think so too. And I do love this cascading edge or whatever you want to call this. And you had the champagne color um, ostrich feathers. That would be beautiful on here too. Yes, because some of your um, bling has like a rose gold tint to them. So I'm thinking, wouldn't that be pretty if I painted one of these gold and did it with gold? Because gold is such a big color right now. So you can paint the chicken wire gold. Or, yeah, they have the, the new products to make the rusty... more of a uh, like a what do you call it oh like a rusty I like a rusty whatever steampunk we gotta do it I wanna see it somebody make a steampunk crown I have crowns throughout my house. I have wings, angels. Yes, I think so too. And with chicken wire, it's so inexpensive. Such a great base. And these laces are so gorgeous, Deb. These trims, the applique beautiful oh you're right black for yes let's make them and then we'll post them post pictures of ourselves wearing them <laughs> Yes, because I have black spray paint. <laughs> so you can make a lampshade and a crown at the same time. <laughs> hey, on a steampunk, you could add chains, add chain to it. Oh, oh. Yes, it is. Her, Deb's store is gorgeous. If you could see my other desk. I know I finished early. I'm sorry. Oh, I know, Deb. In fact, we could uh, make we could use it. Because I had, I was going to start with this because I did make a crown before for um, a tea. I love crowns. And so I did soldering, but I thought soldering, I'm not that much of an expert with soldering, so I wasn't sure if um, I would do soldering live until I maybe try it some more but so what I did is I had this um, this is called wire ribbon and so I first at first that's what I was going to start with this wire ribbon and so I tried glue I used E6000 glue and I was able to hold it together and so I think with that pink chicken wire that you or the different chicken wires you sell you could actually um, Use this as your base, too. Isn't that cute? But with your pink. <laughs> no, go ask your husband to go buy the chicken wire for you.
Okay, let me see. I've got the other chicken wire. And what I love about this chicken wire that you could use on here also is that it's smaller. Um, the, the opening of the wire, the chicken wire that I used is one inch, but you can also spread it out, but this is one inch. So this stuff See, compared? That would be pretty. So, and this stuff feels really light. I love it. I can't wait to work with it. That's right. We all need a crown because we're all queens. You don't need a husband to be a queen. <laughs> it's chicken wire, the pink stuff. Deb has it in her store. I just got it. Otherwise, I would have already made some, you know, added it. Yes, it has a coating. Oh, the coating? I don't know what that's made out of. Let me see. It just says chicken wire garland and it's cute. Oh, we're going to find out all the different uses we could use it for. <laughs> I have a project in mind. Oh, me too. Edwina, are you a pink lover? You guys, I hope that you will try and make some of these. Really. And all the possibilities. These are just a few of the laces. All right, sorry I finished early. I could add more. In fact, yes. You also have, I can go crazy, so I try not to add too much because um, I don't want to cover the one lace with this lace. But you can even add this. I had some in my stash, but I know that Deb has it in the store and it is luscious. And so to me, that just makes it, that just takes it into party mode with that luscious lace. So ladies, thank you for joining me. I, I think